Satine Kreis, a human female Mandalorian, was the Duchess of Kalevala and the pacifistic ruler of the new Mandalorians and the planet Mandalore during the final decades of the Galactic Republic. Believing that change was Mandalore's only hope for a future, she longed to move her people beyond their violent warrior history. Although Mandalore prospered under her leadership, her goals made her a controversial figure and she faced opposition from Mandalorian groups who rejected her peaceful ideology. As the widespread Clone Wars raged across the galaxy, Kreis attempted in vain to keep Mandalore out of the conflict. One of the primary and most vocal critics of the war, she fought against the rising extremism and militarism that threatened her world. The burden of peace cost Kreis nearly everything as the war continued, and she ultimately fell victim to the forces that conspired to take her down. A major advocate of the new Mandalorian movement in her youth, Kreis became the leader of Mandalore following the Mandalorian civil war between the reformist New Mandalorians and the Mandalorian warriors of tradition. The war cost an immense loss of life, and Kreis led Mandalore through reconstruction, helping the planet rebuild into a peaceful society. Her actions continued to face opposition from insurgent groups, most actively the terrorist group Death Watch, among whose members was Kreis's estranged sister Bo Katan. While Mandalore maintained its peace and prospered under Kreis, the Republic began to fracture and entered war with the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Kreis chose not to choose a side in the conflict, making sure that Mandalore was neutral and becoming the leader of the Council of Neutral Systems. This move earned Kreis criticism from both the Republic and Confederacy, both of whom considered Mandalore to be a crucial asset to their war efforts. The Clone Wars tested Kreis's leadership to its limit, with her planet facing supply shortages and an increase in terrorist activity by Death Watch. The threat of Death Watch led the Republic to consider occupying Mandalore, but Kreis knew that the Republic had, in reality, wanted access to the system and that an occupation would only bring the war with it. Despite political setbacks, assassination attempts, and even an arrest warrant being levied against her, Kreis managed to appeal to the Republic Senate and halt the occupation before it could begin. Kreis's efforts also brought about the end of the Death Watch threat for a time. Mandalore continued to face issues as the war continued, with the growing presence of a black market on the planet and corruption among Kreis's fellow leaders. Kreis's defense of neutrality alienated her from the Republic and, although not many, she managed to find allies to help her deal with the crises, including her close friend, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, with whom she had a complicated past. As the war raged on, Death Watch became affiliated with the rogue Sith Lord Maul, who brought together several crime families to aid them in defeating Kreis once and for all. Known as the Shadow Collective, Maul led Death Watch leader Pre Vishla and their militia to Mandalore's capital, tearing through the city and causing chaos. Kreis was deposed and arrested, though infighting among Death Watch brought about the death of Vishla by Maul's hand as well as the defection of Bo Katan. Bo Katan freed Kreis from prison, and the two reconciled in order to find a way to rid Mandalore of Maul. The rescue was short lived, though before her recapture, Kreis was able to contact Kenobi on Coruscant. Maul, having a lust for revenge against Kenobi for an incident from years earlier, murdered the captive Kreis in front of the Jedi. Kreis died in Kenobi's arms, proclaiming her love for her friend as her government lay in ruin and Mandalore's era of peace and pacifism ended. <laughs> 